Hello everyone and welcome to the study system for the theoretical exam to obtain the CDL commercial license for driving trucks and school buses. The questions and answers on this tutorial were updated by the manual of drivers from different states. I hope this is useful. For more videos, make sure to follow our channel. Thank you and good luck. What is counter steering? Turning the wheel in the opposite direction after steering to avoid a traffic emergency. You're driving on a straight level highway at 50 miles per hour. There are no vehicles in front of you. Suddenly a tire blows out on your vehicle. What should you do first? Stay off the brake until the vehicle slows down on its own. What is the IPDE method of driving? Identify, predict, decide, execute. Which of these statements about using mirrors is true? There are blind spots that your mirror cannot show you. No matter how small the cargo is, it should have at least two tie downs. You have left the road in an emergency condition. It is impossible for you to come to a stop prior to returning to the road. Which of the following is the best action to take? Reduce your speed to 20 miles per hour or less before returning to the road. Tie downs must be of the proper type and strength. The combined strength of the cargo tie downs must be strong enough to lift. One and one half times the weight of the cargo tie down. Your brakes can get wet when you drive through a heavy rain. What can this cause when the brakes are applied? All answers are correct. Wheel lockup, trailer, jackknife, lack of braking power. How far should a driver look ahead of the vehicle while driving? 12 to 15 seconds. Which of these statements about speed management is true? All answers are correct. On a wet road, you should reduce your speed about one third. On packed snow, you should reduce your speed about one half. When the road is slippery, it will take longer to stop and it will be harder to turn without skidding. You are driving a new truck with a manual transmission. What gear? will you probably have to use to take a long downhill grade. A lower gear than you would use to climb the hill. How do you correct a rear wheel acceleration skid? Stop accelerating. Which of these is a good rule to follow when using a fire extinguisher? Aim at the base of the fire. Too much weight on the steering axle can cause the following. All answers are correct. Hard steering, damage to the steering axle, damage to the tires. Covering the brake means to have your foot over the brake and ready to push it if necessary. Which of these statements about drugs is true? 
Use of drugs can lead to accidents and or arrest. To prevent shifting, there should be at least one tie down for every feet of cargo. 10. Where or when should you test the stopping action of your service brakes? When the vehicle is moving at about 5 miles per hour. You are driving a heavy vehicle and must exit a highway using an off-ramp that curves downhill. You should Slow down to a safe speed before the turn. When should you wear seat belts? Anytime you are in a moving vehicle. On which fires can you use the ABC fire extinguisher? All answers are correct. Electrical fires, burning fires, burning cloth. Some traffic emergencies may require you to leave the road. Which of these is a good thing to remember? If you must leave the road, try to get all wheels off the pavement, or at least one side of the vehicle's tires off the road. Dry bulk tanks require special care because Both above, they have a high center of gravity, and the load can shift. What would you use to put out a gasoline fire? Dirt. Some liquid tanks are divided into several smaller tanks by bulkheads. When driving a commercial vehicle with a height over 13 feet, you should if you aren't sure about the clearance, stop and make sure. You must inspect your cargo. All answers are correct before starting, every 3 hours or 150 miles, after every break. Cargo covers All answers are correct. Protect people from spilled cargo, protect cargo from the weather, may be required by law. Which of these is a good rule to follow when driving at night? Keep your speed slow enough that you can stop within the range of your headlights. Stop braking. Involves locking the wheel. The vehicle has hydraulic brakes. While traveling on a level road, you press the brake pedal and find that it goes to the floor. Which of these statements is true? Pumping the brake pedal may bring the pressure up so you can stop the vehicle. You are driving a heavy vehicle with a manual transmission. You must stop the vehicle on the shoulder while driving on a upgrade. Which of this is a good rule to follow when putting it back in motion? Use the parking brake to hold the vehicle until the clutch engages. If you are being tailgated, you should Increase the space in front of you. You are checking your wheels and rims for a pre-trip inspection. Which of these statements is true? Rust around wheel nuts may mean that they are loose. If you are confronted by an aggressive driver, what should you do? Do all of the above. Avoid eye contact. Call the police from your cell phone if you can't do it safely. Ignore rude gestures and refuse to react negatively.
You don't want to be a distracted driver, so you. Avoid using your cell phone until you reach your destination. What is a common cause of tire fires? Underinflated tires. Do empty trucks have the best braking? No. How far ahead should you look while driving? Ten to twelve seconds. Which of the following should you not do if you experience a tire failure? Brake hard and immediately. What might happen if you swing wide to the left before you turn right? Someone might try to pass you on your left. What will help someone who is drunk sober up? Time. Total stopping distance equals Perception distance plus reaction distance plus braking distance. Convex curved mirrors. Show a wider area than flat mirrors. Containerized loads. are typically used for freight carried partway by rail or ship. How many red reflective triangles should you carry? Three. How does bleeding tar affect the road surface and driving conditions? Tar rises to the road surface in a very hot weather, causing the roads to become very slippery. Dry bulk tanks and hanging meat are unstable loads. A GPS device should be designed for truck navigation. A major cause of fatal crashes is driving too fast for road conditions.